Welcome back to Sucha South Africa. I'm Nikki Nash and today we're in the Free State. So we're, in, we're at Nampu and we're literally here to see everything that has to do with farming, cattle and Suzuki and other um, other automotive brands. But we're here with Suzuki today. So let me just, just hold on. There we go. So we're with Suzuki and obviously we start with the entry level vehicle. Well, there's the Celerio and there is the espresso in the entry level but there isn't an espresso here on display but here's suzuki there's the vitara this vitara this is the vitara s edition is the one that we had on test um a couple of weeks back over here is the so sport and this so sport is the exact same so sport we had on test last year and how do i know i'll show you now i know because this is black and the one I had is black so there's two in fleets there's this one it's blue then there's the one with yellow so the yellow one is a yellow cap I don't know if it's here or what but this is the exact same one we had so this one has um, Suzuki's livery and this livery was used for the hill climb that Suzuki attended not too long ago but I'm 100% sure if I remove this Suzuki plate underneath you'll see the number plate the jr 30 kh number plate but i won't do that but i know this is the exact same one i had on test nothing new nothing new here you guys have seen that and this is this is the new one this is the new one this is the new suzuki beleno this is why we're here basically and yeah it looks very beautiful let's just take a look and walk around what i like about it is that they haven't changed much when it comes to the exterior design they stuck to what works for them they decided to not change too much just a little bit here and there but this is the new one um, i do like it i like the previous one as well and this is does look the part for me just not too sure about the lights that goes into the boot like over there i'm not too sure about that but it does look the part maybe not on white maybe in a different color and over here we have the swift this is a beautiful car we've tested this one as well click the pop-up banner or link down in the description for that and oh here it is the entry level espresso is here so literally i think we have everything if there's an espresso there's a surf there's a brezza there's a beleno um yeah then there's an the ignis we haven't tested this but we will test it if you guys want me to test the ignis comment down below ignis and then we have the Otiga over here. If you guys want me to test this one, comment down below Otiga. And then I'll ask for it and then I'll test it for you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys like the content. And this is where we, we are. This is our stand. There's what I'll be eating, our snacks. Let me show you guys show you that quickly. That's, this is for me. I'm just showing you guys what I'll be eating. Then over there, those are people that work at Suzuki. And behind me well in front of me now this is Utsile. hey hi What's yes up? he's a motoring journalist he's a big dog so all the cars you see on the channel Utsile gets them first and then they come to me as always so we're done with the cars there is the bikes over there well i'll do close-ups of the bikes later on with audio voiceover and then there's the marine side of things this is the boats and all of that actually let's see how much these boats go for I have no idea how much a boat costs and hopefully I can find pricing just hold on let me look hopefully I'll get pricing um, I am not finding pricing for the boats but if I do find pricing I will let you know how much these boats go for so yeah I'm making nice and I hope you guys do like and actually we're not ending it there let's just take another walk let's walk around um, these are the boats I like them this one looks fast there's two of these things this one looks fast um, yeah so there's the quad bikes I didn't know Suzuki has quad bikes by the way so it's keen this is very nice Suzuki has quad bikes let's see how much their quad bikes go for oh I'm gonna need to scan to see the pricing um, I'll scan and I'll put down below how much this quad bike goes for but yeah I hope you guys actually like the content that I'll be bringing from Nampo and we're gonna check other um, motoring bands that are here I know Toyota's here Isuzu is here Ford is here uh, Mitsubishi is here as well and Renault is here so yeah just keep it locked and I'll show you guys what's here so here with the bikes again so the bikes again don't have pricing um, but yeah I think these are only bikes <laughs> so 
keep it locked. I'll document when I'm at Ford, you know, Ford are my people. I'll document when I'm at Isuzu. Speaking of Isuzu, we have an Isuzu test car coming this week. Well, coming tomorrow, actually. Um, but you guys will see the video maybe a few days after this one. And yeah, so from Nikki Nash, keep it locked as we go through the journey today. So we're now with the Ford family, as obvious. This is the entry level into the Bucky range. This is the Ford um, X XL. Just hold on, there you go. Yeah, that's the Ford family. And oh, that's black. This sun looks very beautiful. I like this, I like this. Now, obviously, there's all sorts of cars here. Yeah? There's this is the new Ranger. As you can see here, there you go. So this wasn't there when we did the old new review of the vehicle. This is just the, the entry level and look entry level into the Bucky range and look you're getting that nice beautiful grill and more importantly while we're still on that let's just jump inside quickly. Let me just show you what I'm liking is that across the range literally you're getting this screen. Obviously the screen is slightly bigger on the higher spec models but you're also getting a digital instrument, instrument cluster i like that very much more especially for this being futuristic i like that they're bringing the vibe and the one that we saw last time round, this was the one um now we're seeing it out live in person looks very beautiful click the pop-up banner if you haven't seen this one and obviously for me my pick has to be the it has to be the platinum uh, the platinum basically the Everest this is the 2022 Ford Everest looks very beautiful obviously it's attracting I think the most attention uh, I'm not surprised obviously it looks star parts and yeah hopefully oh Ford as well has all of their range um, there's the Everest and obviously this Everest isn't the exact same one we had on test this Everest is the XLT as um, oh it's the limited my mistake this color gives off XLT vibes. It's actually the limited. Yeah, it's the limited, but yeah, I'm not too sure about this color. Um, this color gives off XLT. The white for me does it. And yeah, there's the four Tonio. We had that on test last year. Um, links in description below if you wanna see that. And yeah, let's just, let me go greet my food family. Hopefully I'll see the relevant people. So now we at US trucks and obviously these are the babies. Um, this is the this is the ram. But honestly, ne, I see that one, but honestly this one just looks <laughs> I have no words literally for the look of the sun. The sun looks amazing and it's so big. It is so big. Um, yeah, there's there's buckies and then there's trucks. Hence they said US trucks up there. These are not buckies, these are trucks. And would I buy it? Definitely. Most definitely. And then, oh, there's the ram. Let's just, something I noticed on the ram. I hope you guys can hear me. And something I noticed, and obviously you guys, 
you guys know I'm a sucker for this. Oh, oh, okay, you guys didn't see that. But those steps comes out when you open the car. But something that I noticed is that this has a panoramic sunroof over here. This is a panoramic sunroof. So something that is found in the US trucks, even the F-150 Raptor comes with a, with a, with a panoramic sunroof. Does it open? Definitely. Will I open it now? No, because I don't have the keys, but I would have opened it. But let me just quickly zoom out my camera so I can show you the step. I hope you guys can see that. So the step, it should go back in now. There you go. It goes back in. And then when you open the door, the step comes out. Look at that. Look at that. And then you put your leg. When you step in, you into the car. Now I see where the Americans saw the design the, with, in terms of Ford, the screen. So I don't know who copied who. Did Ford with the F-150 copy Dodge Ram or did um, Ram copy Ford? Click, tell me in the, in the comments below who copied who, but this looks amazing. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm alright, thank you. Wow, this is beautiful. But let's def I'm definitely going to jump into the... There's that one there at the back there those guys open the sunroof we're going to open it but before we get there let's just quickly look at this one this one is the party piece for me Utile, is it locked oh my days why is this one locked uh, unfortunately it's locked but it does look the part we're gonna go to that one there that one is a pen roof i'm telling you you see, if you think I love pen roofs, there's this man. I'm the ambassador, bro. He loves I them. I am the ambassador. He loves Self them. But still. Self-proclaimed ambassador <laughs> of pen roofs. He loves pen roofs. So that one, I just showed you guys has a pen roof. That one over there has a pen roof. We're just going to give those people some time, and then we're going to check it out. And then there's this white one here. Yeah. So one thing I noticed is that that one over there that we just saw now, it says 150 Hemi. So it's a 5.7 liter. And then this one says 2.5 2, um, 2, 2, 2,500 heavy duty. So turbo diesel. I have no idea the engine capacity of this one here. 6.7 liter comes. It's a 6.7 liter. Correct. Straight six. Straight six. Must be heavy. It's and then there are 97 newtons of torque. 1,097 newtons of torque. And then kilowatts. It's about 280. 280. Okay, so it's more on the pulling this side of things. 523 kilowatts. Oh my day, that's yes. 6.2 liter supercharged. Okay, okay so this is a 6.2 liter supercharged. supercharged, and this in kilowatts is 523. 523. So, so imagine doing 0 to 100 in this. <laughs> it smokes a G wagon, definitely. That power is insane. Um, and how much is this? Um, 4.2 million. 4 .2 million. Yeah. Cheaper than the G-Wagon. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Cheaper than a G-Wagon, faster than a G-Wagon. So, oh, price-wise it makes sense. Because um, think of the whole the importing it and all of that. Correct, so. and we convert it. So we bring it in left-hand drive. Oh, it comes in left-hand drive? And we manufacture a whole right-hand drive. We do the conversion. Oh, oh so, so conversions are done by you guys. Correct. Okay, because I, I'm, I saw a F-150 Raptor. Do you guys also do those as well? Nah. We did, we, in the past we've done, but... We haven't done homologation on, okay. the, on the Raptors, so these have got M&M codes, okay. so you can finance them through any bank. Oh, yes. okay, this is nice. Yeah. So, so these are... They're just the four so that we can market. Oh, okay, and then... So all and of... Then we start here, we start at 2.6 million. 2.6? For the Rebel over there. The, the one over there. It's got a 5.7 litre Hemi V8. Okay, we're going to check and that out just now. Then it also comes in a V6 3 litre diesel. Okay. And then we've got the Limited, which is also a 1500. 5.7 can also get in a V6 3 litre diesel. Okay. That's 2.6, with a diesel is 2.7. That's 2.6, like the as price is, as is. As is there. Okay. This one is 2.7. 2.7, as, as is. But if you put a V6 diesel engine, it's, it's 2.8. 2.8, okay. This is a 2,500, so these are 3 million. Oh, these are 3 million. But it's a okay. heavy duty, this is code 10 license. That one, oh, code that 10 license. That one is code 8. Oh, code 8. And then, but once you jump into this one, this is a code, code 10. Code 10. 
towing capacity on those ones is 3.9 tons. This oh, one, that's a lot. if you're going double rear wheel, goes anywhere from, from 5.9 up to 15 tons. 15? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you could put a double rear wheel on the back there, you could put airbags in. You can put Correct. two tires there? Yeah, it comes double rear wheel. Oh, okay. And I'm not definitely surprised. Um, so this goes from 5 point in terms of towing? 5.9 tons. 5 tons to 15. 15 tons. And that 6.7, it comes in international trucks. You know those big international trucks? Yeah, same, motor. same but in a buggy. But in a buggy. Well, right. in a truck, this is not a buggy. This is no, a this thing you'll be able to pull pretty much anything and everything. Anything you want. Wow, this is... And this, you said, is going for how much? 3 million. 3 million. And this one is 4.2 because of the engine, obviously, and all of that. Okay. Okay. Then you've got the 818 horsepower Demon motor. Okay. Then you've got the 1000 horsepower Elephant motor that you could also put inside. <laughs> so this is a small elephant. one of the range. Okay. We've done one Elephant. In, we've done one. And then yeah. towing capacity elephant. of the sun? Uh, 3.9 tons. 3.9 tons. That's, that's but not a lot. You're going to have to put upgraded bearings and all kinds of things. Kinds. <laughs> 125 litre fuel tank, you can get maybe 500 k's. <laughs> 100 lit guys, for, for people that are watching 125. this, 125 and you can get 500. For reference, this is basically the Ford that we had on test a few weeks back. Um, this is 80 litre tank and you can get 700 k's. This is almost double that and you don't even get that amount of range. Also depends on how you drive. You might get 300 if you're flooring it all the way. <laughs> no, this is this is insane. Like this is insane. Like like the like the tank size and the and the the range is what's is what's getting to me. So this one has a normal sunroof. Just give me a second. I'll show it to you guys now. There you go. Oh my goodness. There you go. This has a normal sunroof. Um, but it looks the parts. Um, yeah, you guys did see. So here are the seats. I like the seats. Now, I am 100% sure you guys are wondering where do you change gears, right? You know you'd be changing here and whatnot. Nope. This is a truck. You change here. This is the gear lever. You know how American Americans do it, the levers here. So, the levers there, the indicator is here, and the wipers are here. Wow, okay. This is very interesting. entry level basically into the range and when I say entry level don't think I mean cheap this one goes for I think it's at 2.6 2.7 million and for that so what you're getting obviously I did mention from the outside what this one has and like I said this infotainment system exact same that you find in the forts um, I'm not sure who copied who but wow and my favorite thing are you guys ready let's look up ah imagine a sunroof in a buggy a panoramic sunroof in a buggy um, and one thing I like is that all of these ones have panoramic sunroof so that one there has a sunroof literally all of them even not just making a noise on the other side so the one that's making a noise is, is that one that has a panoramic sunroof that one there has a panoramic sunroof this one has a sunroof this one is a normal one but interior oh, amazing so now I'm inside, as you can see, Utsile taking the shots as always and the panoramic sunroof over here. So one thing that South African buckies lack, and it's literally all buckies. Oh, look, there are rats right. It's literally all buckies. Let me just close my door and let me show you something. South African buckies lack in terms of legroom. So here's legroom. Dude, you would swear, I mean, uh, S-Class 7 Series. Look, look at that. Legroom, headroom is perfect. And this is not a bike. This is a truck. Um, this is a truck. This is a truck. This is not a bike. This is a truck. And I'm look at the leg room. You swear, I mean, a seven series. It was class. So now we're at the Isuzu stand, and this is them. This is the new D Max. This is the first time we get to see it this this close, up and close. It looks very beautiful. 
I like the look in front. And we, we are going to get on test. Um, yeah, just stay tuned to my channels, my platforms. We are going to get on test. But remember, in, early in the review, I said a test car is coming tomorrow. Yes, our our test car tomorrow is actually this one. It's the all new MUX. So, yeah, you're going to see the review of the MUX after this video because this is our test car. We're receiving this tomorrow, but not in this color. Well, I hope not in this color. Um, the press really the press fleet booking says it's a red so yeah i hope you guys do like the content tell me if you what you think about the mux on this video and then you'll tell me your full thoughts when i do post it but back to you'll see the mux properly when i have it on test obviously but back to this one this is the party piece this looks very beautiful we are gonna get this on test um maybe looking towards mid june and june into july we'll get this on test but for now we get in the abux tomorrow and yeah i hope you guys do like the content and i'll carry on shooting stay tuned I'm Nick from Natal Powerboats in Durban and I'm here representing our brand at the Nampo show on Suzuki stand and just a bit of feel about boating is I've always loved boating always been a boater from a kid and I think that it's a it's an activity that everyone from young to old can participate in so from a two-year-old to a 90 year old everyone can join in the fun on a boat whether you're just going on a cruise or skiing or fishing or any activity on the water i think it's an amazing activity and a lot of people are scared to ask questions like oh, is it hard to get a license is it difficult to tow it and all that and it's actually a very easy thing to get into uh, your license itself could take you two three days max little short bursts of your day you do a little practical the guys will take you out and teach you how to uh, maneuver a boat and the rules of the dams etc obviously on the deep sea side is a little bit more onerous because the guys need to teach you how to read the waves and go through the surf etc 
but it's a very, very easy sport to get into.